Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Somos Biology. In this video, I'm going to clear a confusion that you may have. That is the difference between CSIR net and UGC net. What's the difference between the two? CSIR net, let's put it separate and then NTA UGC net. They are totally separate kind of examination. Separate examination for uh, being able to become a lecturer and also being able to be a part of research that's uh, the offering between the two particularly CSIR net basically it's also told as a CSIR UGC uh, joint net examination that is there for the science subjects or science group subjects like life sciences earth science chemical science mathematical science physical science so all this seven eight uh, i think six seven different subjects that are there there's a part of CSIR UGC joint net which is being conducted by NTA uh, since last uh, two three years then there is NTA UGC net NTA UGC net is totally separate which is there for 80 different subjects covering arts and commerce subjects all together only one subject you'll get that is environmental sciences uh, which you can appear as a science student from NTA UGC net rest all are arts and commerce based subject so that's the difference CSIR UGC net is for science and uh, there are only six, seven different subjects that they're conducting it for and NTA UGC net is totally different. Now, if anyone qualifies CSI UGC net, then the sponsorer for their PhD, that means the stipend that they'll get as a PhD scholar will be provided by either CSIR as an institute or UGC. While NTA UGC net qualifiers, they are going to get the benefit of the stipend, they are going to get the benefit of the salary that they will draw will be provided by UGC only, no CSIR. So CSIR only funds science based uh, research, GRF, but not the arts and commerce based. So it's basically the same amount of salary, 31,000 rupees plus HRA that you are going to get as a junior research fellow and then it will increase to two four thousand more as a senior research fellow later on after two years once you become srf from jrf so that's the difference between the two i believe it's clear now you don't have any confusion yet so if you're from any of the science background you'll appear in csi ugc joint net and from the arts background you can appear in the ugc net so if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that to clear the confusion regarding the preparation of CSINET examination. And if you want to get a better preparation for CSINET life science examination, click the links in the description because we offer CSINET study material, we offer CSINET life science coaching.